That's gotta be the cutest turtle in the world, no? With the pig nose and the flippers. I can see Titan already, check it out. There he is, just cruising around, right down there on the bottom. I oh. like it as much as the turtle will, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is biochar, so it's like a cheaper version of activated carbon. What do Not you think? bad! <laughs> hey, see, I still got it. I only work when I have to work, and it was just at night, a couple of the kids, which was a lot of fun, teaching the kids how to build water features. Fly River Turtle Titan. Going into Ed's tropical fish pond that we built for him. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. Ed the Pond Professor here. It is day two on the tropical pond project. We had some great progress yesterday. Greg's an nephew, Brett. He's not able to assist us today, but we have Ryan and we have Cole, so I think we should be in pretty good shape. Main focus, obviously, excavation. We got our liner in place. We have our heavy-duty fabric covering everything up, and this is because it's an animal enclosure. We have these really cool logs and stumps, which is kind of the dominating feature of the project. The other piece that's kind of unique is we're coming in with this beautiful silica sand down on the bottom just to give it that riverine type of a look and feel. It's also gonna be the perfect habitat for the Fly River Turtle to kind of root around down in those bottom sediments and things like that as he would normally in nature. I actually ran back to the office last night, got a few more pieces of driftwood as well as some additional logs. So we're gonna be unloading this and utilizing it up in this section for our waterfall. We're gonna focus on the interior part of the pond. We'll start trimming up the liner, start putting in some of the more stone around the outside edge. We'll get our pump in place. We'll start working our way up that waterfall until we have running water by the end of the day. It's gonna be a busy day. So we are getting ready to finish up the waterfall. We got the lower one done. We just did our overlap with the liner. And now what Greg and the other guys are doing is they're cleaning up the bottom of the excavation. We're gonna put in another cool log right over in here, in that back corner, but we had to manipulate the excavation a little bit. So just kind of fine tuning all of that stuff. Pond is filling up with water trying to create some plant pockets and stuff like that. Remember the goal of this is to have that really lush tropical look. This is Biochar, so it's like a cheaper version of activated carbon. It's a little bit coarser, but it still has similar adsorptive properties. So it has high surface area, but it also will absorb tannins and different things out of the water itself. We're gonna test it on this particular project. The reason being, those big stumps and things are gonna release tannic acids into the water. That's gonna start to cloud the water a little bit. So I'm gonna use this to counteract it. It will also provide incredibly clean water. This is the same stuff that they use in drinking water systems around the world. Here is the moment we've been waiting for. Still obviously have a lot of cleanup work and edging to do. Bio falls, everything is set, everything is foamed. We are ready to turn it on. Thousand dollars! Click in the Salutations everybody. We've got Colonel Copapod, Lieutenant Rotifer here. <laughs> we have some exciting news for you for coming to you from the Team Aquascape channel. I know you were probably really, really enjoying whatever the heck Wad was saying, but it can't be nearly as entertaining as this. We are giving away not 1,000, not 2,000, but $5,000 worth of Aquascape product. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole head blue. Hey, you guys want to hear more about this? Follow Team Aquascape. We're going to be putting out more and more information about this, but in the meantime, click on the link below. Click. You know how to do it. 5,000 bucks in pot product. That's all you need to know. Come over to Team Aquascape channel. Find out more. Let's go. Look at that. Big wide fall. That's cool. Nice. I love how it goes all the way to that side. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that looks great. We have really thick and heavy on the left side, and then that the right oh, side is just yeah. raining down off of there. It just rests real fast there. I love the look of that going over that log, or oh, around yeah. that stump and everything. Oh, yeah. What do Not you think? Bad. Hey, see, I still got it. I only work when I have to work, and it was just Ed and I and a couple of the kids, which was a lot of fun, teaching the kids how to build water features. Oh, that's lovely. We got to get a little bit more water in here. 
But look at that top that log. Great. You won't have to service this thing probably for a year. No, I know. It's awesome. That I love wonderful. the top waterfall. The top waterfall is really cool with the log, yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thanks I help. like it as much as the turtle will, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, what do you think? Looks really good. Building a waterfall? This looks really nice. Good job, Cole. Uh, the birth of a waterfall, know, buddy. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to finish some of this stuff up. Again, it was a pretty hectic couple days. You can see we have tons of tannins in the water, which is okay. I'm not. That's not a bad thing for me. What I want to do is I'm going to drain this down because I'm going to start planting stuff up. I'm going to probably have to take a trip over to Aqualand to pick up some more marginal aquatics. So this is the type of vegetation that's going to grow in these shallow areas. I also want to get a tropical water lily, and that's going to go down in the bottom. I could just see it kind of kicking out right over in this area over here. So I'm going to fast moving water coming in. I want that water to sweep over by the beach especially water lilies, they're gonna create a floating mat on the surface. So when you have water flow, it actually is gonna divert some of that water flow, which is actually a good thing. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I'm gonna direct that water flow, sweep it over by the beach, then into that intake bay. So I'm gonna do a, a barrier around the outside edge of this. These are some of the plants that I got from Dustin of Dustin's Fish Tanks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to tie some of these guys onto some of the pieces of rock and gravel. The water sprite over here has some pretty good root masses on it. I should be able to tuck that into position without tying it to anything. But these guys over here, these ones are gonna float. So I wanna tie them to something that's gonna be somewhat of a solid surface allow those roots and everything to really grab onto that piece of stone and then I'm going to place them strategically inside of the pond over here because of the way this piece comes out right here so you have this big long root flare coming off of that stump what happens is that water kind of cascades behind and it kind of kicks this way so this is going to kind of create a little bit of a backwater area so from a biomimicry standpoint you're gonna find most of your aquatic vegetation kind of tucked out of the main flow of a river system. A lot of vegetation, a lot of flow, a lot of color, a lot of action, but creating that habitat for this particular species. All right, just refilled the pond, put in all those incredible plants from Dustin. I can't thank him enough. This is gonna be insane. You can see the Anubias down in here on the bottom. We got that water spread. Look at all the toads already climbing all over that stuff. They're just loving that. Vegetation, it's such an important component. It's what's going to draw those animals in. So this is where they're normally going to lay their eggs, where the eggs could actually get tangled around all that stuff, and it's going to protect them from predators. Starting to finish it up some of the edges now. Just gravelly, pebbly beach look over into here. Love the look of that gnarly stump that we have over in here. So that's just really cool. Hiding up that intake bay. You can see it's doing its job. And that's why I was trying to hide it so you can see that scum on the surface. So you can see I am wide open spaces out here. Fields, dust, tractors, all that stuff. This is also why I put the intake bay on the eastern side of the pond. Most of the winds are going to push this way, so it's just going to want to push all the debris into this section, as well as the action of the pump drawing it in. This little guy inspired this pond because they, I was talking to Dr. Eric Johnson who's kept fly river turtles before and he said they really grow big when you put them outside in the sun. So we built an outdoor pond. We figured well we might as well fill it with some tropical fish even though we don't have Papua New Guinea fish. So we got tropical fish from Ohio Fish Rescue. He was gifted to me when I mentioned to them that I've never had a fly river turtle and they know how much I love turtles is why I started my business. He's been living in this tank. We're gonna grow him up a little bit bigger and then we're gonna put him in the Japanese koi pond area. Right now, We'll take him to Ed's Blue Sky Farm to live in his tropical fish pond for the summer. Wow. Hey, come on, is that just the sweetest, cutest thing? It is the only freshwater turtle with flippers. Wow. All right, boys, we ready for this? A lot of the cichlids. Wow. They're like Tanganyikan or. No, I don't know the difference. <laughs> I'm not a cichlid guy. Okay. I'm yeah, a coral 12G guy. guy. So these fish obviously are tropical from Africa. So they're only going to be there for three months in the summer. And then they come back to Aqualand. We added some ammonia neutralizer and some protect for ponds. All right, so let's pour them in there. Go. 
But George, have you ever released tropical fish into a tropical pond with a beach? No, I haven't. And this is what? Is this inspired by Patrick? Yeah, absolutely, a little bit. That's what it reminds me of. Go on. <laughs> Fly <laughs> River Turtle Titan going into Ed's tropical fish pond that we built for him. So Ed, what do you think, man? Are you excited? Oh, dude, this is incredible. Fly River Turtle, one of the most amazing animals on the planet. Right here on the farm, I know with all the different people we have coming through here, they're gonna love this guy. Titan from Ohio Fish Rescue. Go swim, Titan, swim. finished up that tropical pond. What I love about this is I have my Hobbit House Pond. It's got its own look, its own feel to it and everything. And then right at the tail end of it, it picks up with this cool tropical pond. I think it turned out incredible. The goal was to have some unique animals and I can see Titan already, check it out. There he is, just cruising around right down there in the bottom. He is going to love it down here. You can see him rooting around in that sand doing exactly what he's designed to do. The other thing that I did here, you can see we got water lilies. I got this big cool stump in here. These animals are gonna tuck themselves under vegetation. They're gonna find rocky outcroppings. They're gonna find logs and things like that where they can kind of escape away from uh, actually being exposed. So we have some different anubias. We got water sprite, we got rotala, we got some blue-eyed grass, we got cannas, we got taro. Uh, we actually got potato vines. So we got some really uh, creeping jenny, calla lilies. We got all this unique stuff because these guys are omnivorous. Um, I've also seen snails in here, and actually there's one right there. So we got some snails in here, so I'm gonna see what Titan is gonna start feeding on. We're obviously gonna have to supplement the food source, but when you start putting an animal into a proper environment like this, they're gonna do so much better. So this is gonna be an incredible kind of a summer getaway for Titan where he could kind of spend I'm outdoors in a protected environment and he will continue to grow and flourish and our goal is to obviously have him for many many years to come and I hope uh, actually in the future we may have to make a bigger pond for him but this is way bigger than the aquarium at the office this is several hundred gallons uh, we have an incredible biological filter up here on the top we got these cascading waterfalls we have all this area around if he decides to get it to get out you see this little beach area over here this is going to be Titan's easiest way out. So because of all that sand, I'm actually going to see little cracks. So I'm going to see if he's getting out in the evening time. I have this stone fence that I put up. It's not very tall, but also Titan, I don't think, is a good climber. I might have to talk to Kenan about that. I'd be curious to see if he could actually get out of here or has any desire to. See a frog looking at me. There's frogs, there's tadpoles, there's toads. We have all types of life in this pond.